Oh, hold on. We're going to move on to a very special um, guest on the show today. Um, I'm just going to check. Uh, yeah, let me just see. Um, is the signal working? Uh, are you there, Ken? Yeah, I'm here. How are you doing, Crispin? I'm good. Good to see you. Uh, yes, thank um, you. Now I've got um I've got a preview of uh, your latest film. Um, I'm just going to play it for you. For you. All right, lad. How come they're getting all that stuff? I've lost everything. I've left a war zone. He's taking your photo there. You better delete that photo. They're just kids, man. Let them get in the house and get settled, man. I'm really sorry that happened. Can I say I'm surprised if you had the stuff that come out within the pub? This has become a dumping ground, lads. We've been in this village all our lives, and we're supposed to share it with that lot. We don't even know them. Thank you for your kindness when we arrived. I really appreciate it. My name is Yara, by the way. What's yours? Tommy Joe Ballantyne. Do you mind me asking? Are you yeah. all right? When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a photographer and travel the world. If you've got a moment, you come back to the pub with me. I wanted to show you the photographs in here. The whole way of life, just gone forever. When you eat together, you stick together. My mother always said that. Some of the locals are struggling too. Everywhere's closed, even the school's gone. We can't even look after our own. It's just one from back to worse, isn't it? Imagine if all the families mix and start to eat together. If you eat together, you stick together. God, what? Go on, go on. The village, the old oak. We need this. It's like a bloody refugee camp. Watch your mouth, Mary. Bob. It's not charity. This is solidarity. This is about we do something together. It takes strength to build something new. It takes strength to build something beautiful. Shukran. Do you know what shukran means? It means thank you. Shukran. Shukran. Wow, people are saying in the chat that it brings tears to their eyes just watching the trailer. Imagine what the, the whole film will do. Um, uh, uh, can you tell us a bit about uh, the background to, to the film? What, what When you started making it? Because uh, I remember when we spoke during lockdown, you were saying you were maybe not going to do another film. Well, um, dangerous to say that, isn't it? As I've found to my cost. Um, well, we did um, we, we did a, a couple of films in the North East. Um, one about a a man um, denied the social security that he he'd, he's entitled to. Um, one about the consequences of insecure work in the gig economy. Um, it's a brilliant place to work. It, it's it's a community communities and culture built on struggle on um, where the old industries have died and nothing's been left in its in their place. Um, the ex mining villages in County Durham are an image of that. Um, strong communities um, now reduced, um, massively reduced and, and left abandoned. Shops closing, houses cheap, um, and uh, difficult to find hope in that situation. And there, that was the region that had more refugees from the Syrian war per capita than anywhere else. Uh, for, you know, for reasons we can understand they're out of sight, no one will complain or they think and um, it's they've discharged their, they've taken the box but um, no meaningful, at the beginning, no meaningful um, preparation was put in place by the government, the, the local <laughs> councils responded really well. Um, so it, it seemed to us that, it was Paul's idea, Paul Laverty, the, the, my good comrade, writer and friend, um, who said that's that's the image that will both um, illuminate the, um, the the abandonment of, of brilliant communities um, and also because it'll be a catalyst that you know it brings out the the conflicts there, but also says something about our connection to 
people who come here and are desperate, have suffered the trauma of war and um, desperately need our help. And, mm. and how we've responded to both and how the two communities can live together. Can they find a way? You know, can they find a way? Maybe not. Don't, don't I, be misled by the, by the trailer. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, I mean, the, 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 the films that you produce, they, they, they educate people so much about the situations of groups of people who are often misrepresented or demonised. And, and uh, you know, the... the it, it's not, it, and it's not done in a kind of um, preachy way. You really get into the characters, and we identify with the people in in a sense that, you know, with the people are into have got tears in their eyes thinking about the plights of refugees and people, um, like you say, who are on zero hour contracts, or people who are claiming benefits because of disability. I mean, it, it's incredible how you do this, but I don't. But, it, it's just how do you get about making it so good? <laughs> oh well, you're very kind. I mean, it begins with us. Begins with the writer. It begins with Paul. Um, we'll be talking together. Obviously, you know, we're we're a partnership. We we talk about everything and um, settle on a on a project on a on an idea that you hope will um, be true to what's happening and and uh, illuminate the the deeper conflicts underneath and the contradictions in our society and the contradictions that will never be resolved until there's fundamental change um and you say begin with that and and paul come writes to the characters and we talk about that and then he'll write his narrative and we talk about that and the script emerges written by paul and, and then it's my job to put on screen so that people believe it and and are touched by it um but the, the writing is the prime act of creation. And then, then it's just a process. You find great people. Um, draw in the community as far as you can. Um, the Syrians are the families that live in County Durham um, with, uh, with the addition of Evla Mary, who's the, the main young woman um, who, who's from occupied Syria in from the Golan Heights, but terrific woman. Um, and just, just make it as credible as you can, really. I need to ask you something else as well. Uh, the, 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 you, your, your casting is it, incredible. That some of the actors you've discovered in your career, I mean, they've gone on to be massive stars. I mean, how do you, how do you go, how do you find these actors? You, you're incredible at, at doing that. Is that you, or are you going to say it's someone else because you did that with the writer? <laughs> are you going to say that's the casting director or something? Uh, well, it's uh, everything in film is a partnership, you know. And um, no, Carlin Crawford and I work together. Uh, you just see as many people as possible. You know, all the established actors, uh, local people, people who often people who have been in trade unions are good speakers or you know used to being articulate. It, it's you just find people, try little improvisations, see who works, who touches you. Most people can do it. But almost everyone can, and then um, put people together. Um, and you find extraordinary talent. I mean, that's the one thing that that um, that's a given almost. That wherever you go, you'll find brilliant people. And it it says something about the the talent we have, um, and that it's it's universal. And and um, p people everywhere are, are brilliant. Yeah. Well, I'm going to bring on one of the people you've discovered for this film who, who she said she's not sure she's got made the final cut as well uh <laughs> laura laura lee daly who we've um had on the show before uh talking about lockdown and, and all kinds of things um mm. in sedgefield <laughs> uh so could you tell us how, how it was to be in a ken loach film oh amazing everything you would imagine it, it was that and more and it was like such a good experience because it's it's incredible watching Ken work and like how it's all up here. He knows exactly what he wants, and it's just it it's just amazing to watch him and Paul work together. And then all the people who were there, like so many of them, were just like me, like trade unionists or community activists, who were just like, "What are we doing? This is ridiculous." <laughs> and it was just like this is amazing and. Yeah, it really, it was really emotional being on set. I think we all cried about 10 times and it was just, it was a really 
amazing experience and I thank Ken for for letting me be part of it. So let me ask Ken, Ken, is she in the final cut of the film? Oh, yes. Uh, everyone's in the final cut somewhere. Um, <laughs> and so everyone's there somewhere. Uh, I mean, it's, I think it, in the end, it's, it's very kind what you say, but in the end, it's, it's a hard-headed business because we're dealing with big issues here. Um, because we, we, we know when, when people get a sense of abandonment, when they see no real future, when they see the uh, hope and the potential to change is, where is it? You know, you, you look at that, we've just been talking, um, um, the, uh, Jackie and, and, and John have been saying, as usual, a brilliant analysis of this week's film and the uh, week's news and couldn't agree with them more in what they've said that this can become the breeding ground for, for the far right, for, for fascism, racism. Um, and that's what they allow. And that's, in a sense, it's what they encourage. Um, just uh, reading, uh, Robert, re reminded of uh, Robert Jenrick's um, um, words, if I'm finally quick, I made a note of it um, to, to, to mention. Um, talking of refugees and remember he was the guy in his department that removed the children's cartoons from um, a reception center where kids have got nothing i mean kids have been traumatized looking for a welcome what do they do remove children's drawings from the room they put them in and he said um we must infuse our entire system with deterrence you know and um, you think what kind of man could do that what kind of man could say that to people who have just lost everything, you know? They've lost their homes, they've lost their family members, they've been tortured, they've had a nightmare journey to even to find a somewhere where they won't be, not in immediate danger. And a man can do that, or a government can do that, or society can do that. And the press, of course, we know where the far-right press are. So to... To try to one aspect of the story is to just to see the roots of, of that, and it doesn't. It comes when people who have been decent people feel nothing, no hope, um, and you, the, the, that 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 is just one part of it. But and and the idea was just to find a, a small story th that contains all these different roots, because obviously we don't have the funds or the space or the time to to tell it make it an epic film so we thought let's take one small community and just see all the roots and its history and its history of solidarity and its history of struggle and all all the the wonderful things that brings i mean the the miners were the we say the crack troops of the working class and internationalism i mean, remember how people grew during the strike you know men and women who fought it and the young ones and uh, went to travel abroad, spoke internationally, and brilliant people. And the strength of that and the solidarity of that, is that still alive? Was it gone? Have they killed it? Who knows, you know? So that's to explore. And the same, and, and the danger roots of the far right. And where is there a legitimate path to hope? Or are we, are we, are we stuck putting our heads in the gas I mean, is, can we... Is there a path we can take? And I suppose in the most general terms, that's, that's what we tried to find. But in the end, Chris, it's only a little film, you know. Um, for, for, only a little of, film. Or, yeah. um, and there are lots of other people, you know, lots of names I'd love to mention in and those communities and in the Syrian community. Um, and I think they've now teamed up and have made good friends. So that was nice. So just to let people know that premieres are on, the 21st of September in Newcastle and in Durham. Uh, are you going to the, one of those, Laura? Are you? Um, there you go. I, I think that Laura will be there. And uh, I mean, as, as many of the folks who can come will be there. Yeah, I've, I'm going to the Newcastle one. I should have gone to Durham really because of course, but I thought I'll have a night out as well. <laughs> Why not? To make it a big experience. <laughs> Well, and, and then it's going across the country then, Ken, is it? Um, yeah, it opens, I think, on the 29th. Um, yeah, I mean, it's in, in this, I think we, we've been very lucky. We've got a good distributor. Um, the people who are working with us are very good. And um, they've got us in 200 screens. But 
as I say, you know, I'm always anxious if expectations get too high. It, it's only a little film. Um, mm-hmm. get, um, go if you can, and um, you know that, that'd be brilliant. But it's there are many struggles going on, you know, and um, this is just a one small voice in a big choir. Now you're you're um, you've said that before that this is, uh, that you weren't going to do any more films, and and then you, this has been people saying this is your last film, uh, but um, that's obviously just. Uh, you're trying to stop people talk about your next one. You pl- what are you planning next? I don't know. I've just got to get through this one. But well, you know, they're doing the rounds, and um, I, I don't know. I, I I can't see getting around the course again, to be honest, because it it's um, I mean, as, as Laura knows, and, and the others, it, it's okay. it, it's it's a massive commitment, and you're away from home for a long time, and um, there comes a point where that's you know probably not not a t- terrific idea. Um, but there, there may be some smaller things that are possible. But at, at the moment, is you know, as they say in football, one 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 game at a time. Right. Well, um, thank you for coming on. It's good to see you, and um, and and we'll obviously speak more about other issues uh, as as we go on. There's lots to talk about. And yes. Laura, thank you as well for coming on. And uh, um, I'm looking forward to seeing your your cameo uh, <laughs> me too <laughs> no bother it makes a change from talking about uh sedgefield doesn't it <laughs> right yeah well, that, it's good to have something can you, you do brighten our lives a lot even though sometimes you get us into tears there's hu- lots of humor i mean some of the humor in your films uh is is better than anything um Lowell and hardy ever did so um i don't know about that well you wouldn't say so yourself thank you very much okay thanks and yeah. um and uh, but one one thing, Crispin, I, I think you, you do have a number. Well, I think it's a what you do on Sunday mornings is really important because it it's been it's become a focus for a lot of people uh, who link up and say, right, if if these people are around, um, we we've, we've got a way forward. So uh, keep doing what you're doing, and um, thanks for everyone who takes part. Thanks for your encouragement. Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>